Alright, so in this video we're going to redesign the front of the new Aston Martin Vantage. Aston Martin to me has always been kind of masters of proportions and clean lines and this Vantage is no different. For example, we have this perfect proportion between the greenhouse, which is this area right here, and the actual body of the car, which is down here. So we have one third of the height, the total height of the car. If we have the total height right here, one third of it is greenhouse and then two-thirds down here is the body of the car and that creates a very powerful and dynamic look and that in combination with this long beautiful sweeping roof line that all comes together in the rear here with this integrated ducktail and i love integrated ducktails it doesn't matter what car it is there's this suzuki that i always say that <laughs> whenever i see it i just love it because it has an integrated ducktail and everything just comes together in the rear here. I specifically love this rear because they integrated the taillight itself into the ducktail, which even emphasizes the shape even more. But there are, of course, things that you can work with. So with that's the case with any car. And in this case, I think the front is a bit... You know, Aston Martin, they do simple design. They do not simple designs, but they do elegant designs and they try to keep the lines really clean. And that's what they've been doing for a really long time. But the front here, I think it's lacking something. So what I'm going to focus on in this video is the, this part, obviously, and more, more specifically, the front bumper. I think this surface right here, this area is too much surface where nothing goes on. So I want to add something here. Maybe we can make a, uh, maybe we can make an air intake going like that or something like that. I'm gonna have to uh, explore that later. And I also think the headlight shape. It's a unique headlight shape for sure. It has some uh, shape that we've never seen from Aston Martin before, but it does look a little bit too irregular. So we have a straight line here, and then the curve goes like that, and then we have almost like a like a continuous curve going down here so that might be something that we can work with as well but the biggest issue for me that i have with the front is the grill i think the grill this large surface here is just too much of a surface that that it's just it's kind of a trend today to have the biggest grill and i'm not sure i understand why just to make a huge mesh in the middle of the front of the car so i want to work with that maybe add maybe bring back these uh, old gills that uh aston martin used to have they look something like this and they go somewhere in the middle from one corner up here down to the center of the car we can play around with that and see what we come up with so as i said i love this car uh, it's an Aston Martin, they love clean designs, so this is going to be kind of like painting on a Picasso original. You know, it's already a good looking car, but we can play around with it and see what we come up with. And this is going to be how I would like my Aston Martin Vantage to look like. And of course, last but not least, we're going to change the wheels, because this car specifically is uh, is one of these cars where the wheels really make a huge impact. If you have small wheels, it's going to ruin the whole look. So we're gonna find the specific wheels that I like for this car and then just put them on the final design. All right, let's get started. I have my coffee ready. As I said in the intro, I really didn't know what to, uh, how to, how to get started with this because it's already such a good looking car that it's kind of hard to know what to adjust and what to change on it. And the cool thing is, when I was researching, when I was looking for images for this car, I noticed, I, I realized that all, almost every single car manufacturer today have these uh, online configurators where you can configure and build your own car, which is super useful because that means that I can pick whatever option that I want on the car and have it rendered in real time and then just take a screenshot of that car and uh, sketch on that. And that's exactly what I did here. So I started with uh, just making the all the carbon fiber and the grill make that a little bit darker than uh, than it was in render from the configurator because I think the, the the darker the carbon fiber the better in my opinion especially with this bronze or 
orange color, it just works a lot better to have it almost black. So I'm using an overlay layer for to do that. And when you have an overlay, la overlay layer, all you gotta do is just paint over with a darker shade, for example, a dark gray on the surfaces that you want darker, and it will take, uh, it will just make that darker. It's really that simple. And if you wanna have it lighter, all you gotta do is just pick a lighter color such as light gray or white if you want it to be really brighter than uh, the original surface. So I'm filling that in on all the carbon fiber pieces right now with a uh, just a regular Photoshop brush, a pressurized brush. And when I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and start to experiment with the front bumper and see what kind of changes we can make to make it look a little bit more interesting than, than it does right now. Right now it's very, very simple. I did add some shading to the part right below the, the headlight just to make that indent or that bend or whatever you want to call it, just to emphasize that a little bit more. And also I mentioned in the uh, intro that the, the headlight looks kind of, uh, I, I like the design, but I wanted to explore what we can do with it, if we can come up with something different or a different kind of uh, ending in one corner of the headlight. And that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm taking information that's already in this render. So I'm, I'm copying the colors that I already have. That makes it so much easier instead of having to hand pick whatever color I want. I just select the color picker in Photoshop and that will give me the color that I'm having my cursor over when I click it. And then I just sketch with the same orange to fill out whatever areas I need to paint. So right now I'm starting to experiment with the front bumper, trying to figure out what it is actually I want to do with it. I'm thinking adding some air vent or inlet or whatever you want to call it right here in this corner and fill that out on the other side as well to have it symmetrical because we have such a deep indent there right now that I want to fill it up with something and I think it looks pretty good if we just get this shape right with get the get the lines right and the uh, edges right to make it look like it's actually part of this car stock and not some aftermarket part. So that's one thing when you when you're redesigning cars like this you kind of have to look at the general uh, design language of the car and see what it, do they have a lot of straight lines or is it a lot of curves or you know how do the lines play with each other and then from there you can get the uh, get some ideas on how you want to continue to redesign or modify the car but you will always want to take into consideration the existing lines on the car when you're making something new so for this example right here i want this line that i'm doing right now to be almost straight because we we have an air outlet on the door or right uh, behind the front wheels that have a lot of straight lines so we can use that you know a similar design language to create the front bumper as well and as always we need to have symmetry so i'm adding the same exact intake or filling in the other the uh, the far side of this car to make it look like uh, on this uh, our right side to have it symmetrical on the other side as well. Right here I'm just filling in some details such as highlights and shading and uh, the thing I uh, the easiest way to do that is to just pick whatever color you are working with. So you can pick anywhere on this car, use the color picker and I'm sure there are 50,000 tutori tutorials on that uh, on, on here on YouTube so you can check that out. Just search color picker Photoshop. So pick uh, the 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 most common shade somewhere in the middle of the car and then you just move the color wheel just a bit a you know if you if you want a highlight you just move it to a lighter shade of whatever color you're using or if you want to create a shade you just move it further to a darker shade of the color you're using so in this case i would just pick whatever orange that i have in this render and then if i'm making highlights i'm going to adjust that color to be a brighter color to do the highlights and a darker to do the shades. I also mentioned in the intro video that this grill is so huge and massive. It's just a massive mesh of nothingness <laughs> pretty much going on. So I wanted to add some details in, in inside of this grill to kind of have it break it up a little bit and have it, uh, you know, add some more details to it 
And I know Aston Martin have had these fins before, so I wanted to try and see what it's going to look like, if it's actually going to work with this new face. And I think it kind of does, but I also like it without these fins on there. I'm gonna switch them on and off at the end of this video, but I decided to keep them anyway because they kind of look cool. And also right here at the air intake on the side, I wanted to have something and not just be, not just have it be a black hole. So I'm adding some plastic parts or carbon fiber parts or whatever you want this to be to same thing here just to make it look re more real and that it's some you know it can be active aero stuff going on in there or whatever you want, but it makes the whole render more interesting when you have details like this. So that's worth worth thinking of when you're creating renders like this. So I wanted to go back and work on the surface that is right in front of the intake to show the the curvature of it. So I'm going in and adding a little bit of a highlight on the bottom part of it and that kind of shows the, the, the curvature of it and the bend uh, of the, uh, the shape itself. And also now the most pretty much the most important part of this car I think when it, if you're going to modify a Vantage, is the wheels. So I found this go these gorgeous Anarchy wheels that just suits this car uh, perfectly. I just had to adjust some of the, uh, just some simple color correction to have it to be, so that the lighting of this, these paste, copy pasted wheels actually fit this render. But I, I just love the design of it and I love that they're staggered. You have the rear wheels almost like a deep dish wheel and the front is flat and it looks great with these simple spokes. It's not too complex, but they're not too simple either. So they just, and that kind of sums up the whole Vantage to me. So those, these are the perfect wheels for this car in my opinion. Now this is probably going to be um, either you like it, either you like it or you hate it. This rear spoiler at the back. I just wanted to add it because it simple reason it just looks cool and I like <laughs> I like spoilers in the back so I wanted to add something because if you look at this car from side view you have a very uh, steep slope and all that kind of that that's catching that slope is just the uh, the ducktail so I wanted to add something more in the rear to kind of lift the lift the rear up a little bit visually and I do that by adding this simple spoiler in the rear and as always we have to go in and create the highlights and the shading on this spoiler using the same color so this is just simply gray and I have to think about the light source the light source coming from a little you know angled from the top that means that some surfaces and some edges are going to be lighter than the other the other ones that's pretty basic so that's what I'm doing right now adding the highlights and the shadings of these tiny details on the spoiler. And I also love spoilers that have these end uh, plate on them. They just look super cool. Uh, I prefer these type of spoilers rather than just having a flat uh, plank or whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, just to have it end uh, with confidence with a um, plate like that. It just makes it look a lot cooler. So then I want to go back in and add some shading to the grill because these fins are going to cast a shadow onto the mesh behind it. So I, I forgot about that. I went back and added that to really get that sense of depth. And here we have it. That's the before and after. Um, I really like both designs. Mine is just a modification of an already beautiful car. And this is how I want it to look like if I own this car, I would probably create some bumper similar to this and also add these fins to the to the grill. And then of course, if you want to, you can always go in and do a color dodge layer and just turn the lights on because it looks, again, it just looks cool. And this, these whole, all of my videos is just about making things look cool. So why not? I'm gonna turn them on and off as you can see which one you prefer. And that's about it for this video. 
I hope you enjoyed this just as much as I enjoyed making it. This was a lot of fun. And if you have any questions about how to make these videos or anything else, just let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer it for you if I can. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. And if you like these kind of videos in general, feel free to subscribe and check out the playlist that I'm going to link up in the corner right here. I'm the Sketch Monkey and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.